Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we are going to be going over how to make a custom library in your family browser. So to dive right in, we're going to first talk about how everything is set up. So first you're going to be creating a folder somewhere on your computer. I have it named custom library folder. And then within that folder, you're also going to create another folder called custom library or again, whatever you want to name it. And keep in mind, there is other file structures, but I'm going to first show you this one. So we're going to go into our custom library here, and then you're going to see we have another folder, you can call it content or families, and we're also going to have an Excel document. So within content here, you're going to see we have a PNG file and an RFA file for the family itself. This is the location that you are going to be placing all of your content that you want to be in your custom library. And then within our custom library, again, we'll have our custom library Excel document. This document is super important and we'll dive into the structure of this. So this document is really important because it's going to show how everything is going to look and be formatted within your family browser. The titles are very important within this Excel document and we have a blank template for you in the help document because you want those title names to be consistent with how everything is set up within Evolve. So within here, I have highlighted the information that is important that you actually have to have, like mandatory. Um, some of the other information you can add, but it doesn't have to necessarily be in there for it to work. So for here, the family name and the family type, those have to actually match the family name and the type name of the family that you want in your custom library. So going from there, we have our family path and that path is the name of the file that you made and the file that you made that has all of your content in there. Going from there, we have our category and subcategory. Those can be however you want to break up your information within your family browser. And I'll show you that when we actually have this loaded in. And then you also have your manufacturer that you can specify there. And then all this other information, again, you can have if you would like, you can add this information, but you don't necessarily have to add it in for this to work for creating a custom library. Now that the setup is done, let us add this custom library into our family browser. So we're going back to Revit and we're going to go to our family browser. So you can see I don't have a library in there other than my Evolve library, but I'm going to go to my library settings and we'll have our library configuration. We'll go to browse. We are then going to find our folder that we created. So our custom library folder, we're going to go to that folder that we created for that custom library. And then we're going to say create library. From there, it's going to prompt you to choose the Excel document that you would like. I'm going to do that custom library Excel document that we created earlier and press OK. So it was successful. Awesome. Press OK. And this is going to prompt you to reset Revit to be able to see those changes. So we're going to reset Revit. So I close out of all my Revit files and reopened this Revit file. And now when I go into my library for my family browser, you will see my custom library. So I'm going to select that one. And now you're going to see everything is there. So we'll have our hardware and this is cool, the different categories and the subcategories and the manufacturers. So now you can see how all those titles are important because that is how everything is set up within the family browser. So that is today's fun feature Friday on creating a custom library within your family browser. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.